good morning everyone we will see in the today's class the static balancing part is over in the last classes two classes i have taken one class i can clear the concept and the second class i have taken problem on this in the today's class we will see how the system uh, the rotating system we will make it the dynamically balanced that thing we will see in the today's class okay let me start the lecture <coughs> okay uh, see this is what the rotating uh, rotating shaft right we are looking for the balancing of rotating this mass of this shaft okay for dynamic balancing right Bal uh, see in the, we will see there are two methods in order to solve this uh, dynamic balancing part okay A dynamic balance dynamic balancing rather dynamic balance we can there are two methods that is one is analytical method we can balance Ana analytical analytical and other one is graphical graphical with this two method we can balance the system right see the graphical this is a most easier method this is one of the but in the one of the easiest method one of the easy method right one of the easy method but see in the exam you will not give any uh, instruments in order to solve the graphical methods right so we will uh, study this with analytical method only and you know the dynamic balance what is the dynamic balance meaning whenever the masses are at different planes if it is in a single plane we will go it for static balance only but for dynamic balance whenever the masses are in at different planes then we need to see uh, for the balancing of uh, uh, we will go for a dynamic balancing right first what we will do we will need some uh, we will learn some fundamentals okay the, the, of the force polygon and uh, force uh, poly uh, moment polygon okay force polygon force polygon and moment moment polygon okay uh, i will take one example of this first uh, this is this is my vertical axis and this is horizontal axis here i may i will make it dotted okay now see uh, the one let me take this this is one uh, which the force in this direction about 20 newton okay on this direction there is 30 newton here again it is 20 newton on this direction and one more force is like this many forces are acting on the system right i will draw it is uh, 20 newton and this is the uh, 30 newton of force okay and this is also 20 newton of force and this is of 40 newton and i have to mention the angle this also this is of 45 degree okay this is at 90 degree no need to mention from the reference axis you have to need see i can mention this from here also because this is my reference axis right this is a reference axis okay see now you can first we will see how uh, to find out with the help of the how to find out the resultant of this with the help of analytical method okay we will see only the analytical method because this is very important while solving the exam uh, because in the graphical method i have already taught you in my engineering mechanics classes please go and watch how to solve and how to find out the resultant with the help of the graphical methods that thing I explained you okay see in analytical method in the analytical method first we have to do see this is what the F1 force right I will first see the F1 is let me draw F1 equal to 
20 newton right f2 equal to 30 newton f3 is equal to again 20 newton in y direction and f4 is that is 40 newton right these all these are the forces at an angle acting right the angle of this is this is at 0 degree this is 45 degree this is 90 degree and this is uh, 60 degree from my negative y x axis okay first what you have to do you have to find out the resultant for this resultant is equal to r is equal to square root of summation of fx square right plus summation of f y square okay once you find out this the resultant then you go for the angle of for that of that resultant that is tan theta is equal to you have to make summation of f y divided by summation of fx this ratio you have to take if you do these two things then your system is said to be balanced right you uh, see the, the equation is given the angles is given you do this calculation you can easily do this calculation right and you find out this resultant angle for this and the locate the accordingly okay this is how this the force polygon and po moment polygon works right <sighs> now now we will go for the dynamic see what is the dynamic balancing let me go to the next page uh, if masses are rotating in more than one plane if masses dynamic balancing if masses are rotating in more than one plane more than one plane one plane is called is called a dynamic balancing right and if they are one plane it is called a static balancing uh, here we need to uh, summation of forces the two condition we need that is f summation of f is equal to 0 and summation of m is equal to 0 these two conditions we require in case of dynamic condition unlike static in static we need only the one condition because all the forces are in one plane right so uh, this uh, summation of m is invalid in that case so we will not take that right it uh, means uh, see if if the system is dynamically balanced then if with the one conclusion from this we can find if the system is dynamically balanced dynamically balanced dynamic dynamically balanced then it then it automatically automatically static balance also get static balance also right you understood this okay now uh, we will see i will draw on diagram i will uh, draw a plane also okay and i will show you how to do this uh, dynamically balancing see in dynamic balancing the systems are at different planes right now right here here this is one plane right I will take this as another plane another plane this one more plane and this is other plane right okay on this planes the masses are I will make it dotted let me these all are yeah this I have to make dotted right 
just these are the axes here. I will no need to make dotted of this, right? Here, see, uh, there is a here and here. Uh, these are the bearing on which shaft is attached. Okay, now the masses are attached here also. Like this, the masses are right. This is MA, MB, MC, and MD, right? I will take the masses rather than I will put the mass are like this. Okay, yeah, like this, the masses are attached. Okay, now see, this is of MA, this is MB. M B, this is M C and this is M D. See, the these are the at different planes, right? Rotating at different planes. I can uh, take a, a side view of this also here. This is what the front view. Now the side view looks like. I'll uh, I'll show the side view of this here in the bottom place. Okay. See, I have to give side view also of this masses. Like this, I will see the side view of this, right? Okay. Like anything you can give in the exam, okay? See, from the front view, this is looking at this place, but from the side, this may be a different place. Suppose I will take this MA, this is MB mass, this is MC, and this is MD, okay? Like this, this is a side view. Side view, and this is a front view. This is front view. Okay, now balance mass can be placed at any two planes to bring them in a system equilibrium. Okay, you understood this? Uh, the reactions are at bearing supplied will be zero if the system is dynamically equilibrium. See, the reactions will be zero at this place if these are equilibrium. Only the reactions from the weight we, which we are neglecting, right? That thing you should keep in mind because the individual weight compared to centrifugal force when it starts rotating, that case which it's coming is compared negligible right compared to its mass this individual masses and so the the the, uh, the reactions will be zero if the system is in dynamic equilibrium okay you understood this the reaction the reaction at bearing support the reaction at bearing support will be zero will be zero if the system is dynamic if the system is dynamically dynamically equilibrium Right. Now we will see how uh, the analytical method I approach for this solving. Analytical. Let me change the color. Analytical. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yes. I thought I have erased all the matter which I have. Now analytical method. analytical method right see what we have to do uh, see the summation of f, f is equal to 0 means in this case we have to make summation of f x is equal to 0 also right and summation of f y also bring it to equilibrium okay right and this is this see here okay these are the uh, this is what the axis right on this axis uh, I will take this suppose this is what the theta a right this is theta b this is theta c and the total I'll get take a turn and I'll take this is theta d right and if I done the C the summation of fx means I will take the theta uh, that is this MA component along this direction right and y direction I will take all the components like this I will uh, do the balancing of this right see 
uh, I'll write in general I will write here summation of I from theta from A to N right equal to MI RI cos of theta I I equate to 0 okay in general I am writing this and this is what one equation and the other equation that is I equal to A to N M I R I cos of theta it's not theta here now it's sine theta here right sine of theta i this is of y component okay and these two equations i got here right see now you require net moment has to be zero also right now you require now you require net moment net moment to be zero to be zero right now how we will do that just i have to take the summation of pm equal to zero see i will explain this here i will take the copy of this uh, i will not take i will draw it here once more right the on this plane these are the planes on which the mass masses are see on this plane uh, see this is what is the my a mass b mass c and mass d like this these masses are located right this is m a at a distance of r a okay and here also similarly this is m b the one thing you should keep in mind these are their different planes right i have to take see the centrifugal force of this mass that is m a r a omega square in this direction right so i will take the moment i will choose this moment that is see if i don't know the mb so what i will do the unknown masses at that place i will i will select this i will take the moment about this masses okay so i have to take this distance that is the distance is l L A, this is distance L C, right? L C. From this, I'll take L D, right? This is what the mass of D, and this is mass uh, C. Okay, you understood this? From this, from axis, from plane. This is a plane. This is plane A. This is B. This is C, and this is D. From these are the bearing supports, okay, of the shaft and now I will take now I will take I will take or choose the moment I will take moment about about B plane you understood this I think you guys clear this if I take a moment about B plane what I will get see I will get M A R A right M A R A omega square cos of A theta cos of theta cos of theta A into right the distance I have to take whatever the distance that is the mass see here what I will do uh, this is what the rep my reference axis right reference axis uh, the leftward I will take positive the order the length of the leftward that is I will take uh, the negatives negative left negative uh, length leftward and a positive length rightward rightward right mean this see in this case means this is what my reference axis right the LA will come negative and LC and LD these are the right to the reference axis so I will or reference plane rather than I will call it the reference plane ok and I will take the positive uh, from the rightward uh, whatever the distance I will take it positive <coughs> ok see I will take this is LA that is a negative and the next is plus M B M small B R B 
omega square and this is c this is cos of theta b into 0 because this is at this distance so this value goes to 0 right similarly you have to do mc rc omega square cos of theta c right into that lc distance plus i have taken here plus md rd omega square it's not md muscle <laughs> Okay, MD RD omega cos of theta D into LD and equate it to 0. You understood this? Then now this is what the equation of the moment you will get, right? From third equation you have three and un three unknowns and three equations here. Right? So you can easily three unknowns here. Three unknowns. Three unknowns and which or maybe the unknown maybe c unknown r unknown or right this a or these are the three unknowns three unknown and three equations so you can easily bring bring the system into dynamic dynamic equilibrium you understood this is how this is this is how dynamic balancing will be achieved okay guys i think you guys understood i will not take any examples on this i you take your own examples okay if you have doubt on that please put in a comment i will solve that problems right uh, and what we will do uh, in the next class this is what the static and dynamic balancing of the rotating masses in the next class we will see next class next next class we will see balancing of balancing of reciprocating masses we will see okay reciprocating reciprocating masses <coughs> sorry you know this is in it is come single slider crank mechanism this is what the reciprocating mass right uh, we will see in detail uh, the how to do the reciprocate there are comes there are primary balancing and secondary balancing will come in the in this reciprocating <coughs> masses balancing okay we will see it in the next class okay guys uh, then hope you guys like this class if you have any doubts this is very simple all the concepts are based on the engineering mechanics so you should you should uh, be uh, aware of all the concept of the engineering mechanics right that subject is very important this is best for in for the design of any mechanical compound right uh, so you watch all my lectures of that engineering I have taken it on board not on smart board right so you, uh, even though I from you you have to watch that all classes from starting you will not understand if you go intermediately right the sequence wise if you watch all the lectures then you will get an idea of the uh, concepts which I explained okay so that you will uh, the other subjects you will be in very good position you will get a, you will come at a certain position for the other subjects also okay guys with this we will stop here and please don't forget to like put a comments and subscribe my channel and uh, thank you uh, we will see in the next we will be in the next class okay okay guys thank you bye